Hello, everybody. Help, help. Help, help. Hooray. Are you guys happy today? Are you excited today? Can I hear an amen? Very good. Okay. Now, we are going to start for, with a song. Do you still remember that this is my commandment song? Okay, we're going to sing that, and then we're going to sing a new song about Esther. Okay, we'll just wait for Keith. Okay. Oh, yeah, where is that? Where is my, uh, where are my, what do you call the helpers? <laughs> where are the big kids? Rai Rai, Jason, and Valerie. Okay. All right, can we all stand up and let's sing our song? Ryan, Jason, come here. This is my the song Esther because since we're gonna know the story about Esther today What a pretty lady, Esther, won, won the heart of the king, Esther, trusted in God, she knew she could rely on to be there through everything. For we know that all things work together for good. Trusted in the God, she knew she could rely on to be there through everything. For we know that all things work together for good for those who love the Lord and all who follow His commands, lean on the promises of His word. Esther, what a pretty lady. Trusted in the God, she knew she could rely on to be there through everything. Okay. Do you guys want to do it one more time? No. Maybe we'll do it later. Okay. Shall we all pray? Who wants to pray this time? Okay. Michi. Let's do Michi. Since Michi um, put her hands up first. 
Okay, I think we see it. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for this day. Thank you that we can have a very good time. And thank you that everyone could be in the here and that we'll have a very good time and a very fun day. Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Michi. All right. Now we're going to do our theme song. Can you still remember our theme song? Do you guys want to be a hero for Christ? Yes. Okay. We're going to sing our theme song and then we'll do our memory verse. Okay. Can you still remember our memory verse? Uh huh. Okay, well, you will learn this time, okay, Jared? Let's teach Jared our memory verse today. You can't remember that either? Well, we'll recall it today, okay? All right, this time, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Whom shall I be afraid? Psalms 27, 1. Okay, everyone. Now, you can take a seat. And are you guys ready to hear our story today? You guys ready? Hep, hep. Hey. Hep, hep. Hey. Okay. Let's call... Okay, okay. let's call now our Queen Esther. Okay, I'm going to start with a little bit about Queen Esther. I'm going to do two things for you. First of all, you're going to be super quiet because I'm an old lady 
and I don't hear very well. And so if there's lots of noise, I can't even hear myself talk. And then I need four people to help me. I need three boys and one girl. Now, you've got to be, I said before, you have to be a little hammy. That means you, every time I mention Queen Esther, Esther has to go like this. And every time I mention Mordecai, he's going to go like this. Now, the bad guy in this story is Haman, and he wanted to see all these people killed. And it doesn't matter how much you don't like somebody, you don't ever want to try to kill them. But this is what Haman did. So if you're Haman, Now, the last person I need is the king. Now, in my version of the Bible, the new King James, it calls him Azarias. But I have heard him called Artaxerxes, but I'm just going to call him the king. So somebody's going to have to be the king, and when you're the king, you just hold out your hand like this. Okay, I need somebody to be Esther, and I need a big girl. Okay, now, this story takes place in Persia, 
And we know that Esther was the queen and she was beautiful and she was kind and she loved God. We know that her cousin raised her. That's her cousin. Yeah, you did what you're supposed to. All right, Jared's on the ball. Now, um, Mordecai would stay in the... Not yet. Mordecai would stay in the village square and every time Haman came by, all the people would bow to him. They'd say, oh, how wonderful this man is. He's so great. He's next to the king. And Haman loved that. He loved when people bowed to him. He thought that was wonderful. But somebody didn't. Mordecai didn't. Mordecai bowed only to God. So one day, Haman got the idea that he was going to kill Mordecai because he knew Good, you are really good. I'll tell you what, Jared's going to be a good actor someday, and he follows directions so well. Okay, what happened is he decided he was going to destroy Mordecai. And Haman got the idea that he would go to the king and get the king to make a new law. Now, when the Persians had a law, they could never change it. They could make another law to uh, soften it up, but they could never change their laws. And so the king, let your hand, the king made a law that said all the Jewish people should die. Now, the queen didn't know anything about this. Good job. Good job. Uh, the king didn't know anything about this, but her cousin Mordecai came to her and he said, Mordecai. I'm sorry, I got Mordecai and Haman mixed up. You're Haman, and I was pointing at you waiting for Mordecai. I'm sorry. Oh, that's what happens when you're an old lady. You get confused. I can't watch you now. I'll have to look at the other kids. Okay, and so what happened is the king signed this law, and the law said all the Jewish people would die. And so Mordecai went to Esther, and he said, don't think you will be spared because you are the queen you are Jewish and you will die. And so the queen took her trusted servants, she had three or four little servants, and they fasted and they prayed. Now when you fast, it means you don't eat anything good. Maybe they drank water, maybe they drank fruit juice, the Bible doesn't tell us. The Bible just says they fasted and they prayed. And so Esther went towards the king. Now. When you are not invited to see the king, if the king didn't hold out his hand with the scepter in it, then you would die. There were soldiers standing all around the king with spears, and they would just take their spear and they would just eliminate you, the queen. So the queen said, if I perish, I perish. So she put on her most beautiful uh, dress, and she washed her hair, and she prayed that um, God would help her find favor with the king. And sure enough, when the king saw her, he hadn't seen her for a while. Remember, the king had lots of wives, and so he only saw certain wives certain weeks of the year. So the king, that would be awful, wouldn't it? That'd be awful to have that many wives. Um, so... <laughs> The queen went in, and the king held out his scepter for her, and he said, why, Esther, what is it that you want? I haven't seen you in a month. And so Esther went up, and she said, I'd like to invite you and Captain Haman to my house tonight for a supper. And she said, then I'll tell you what I want. And so Haman was so proud, he was so excited, he said, I'm eating with the king and the queen tonight. Nobody else is there but us. And Haman was so happy. But right outside in the courtyard, there were workers who were building gallows because that was for Mordecai. He was going to hang Mordecai and kill him once and for all. If that man wasn't going to bow down to him, he was going to get rid of him and all of his people. But you know, the Jewish people were God's chosen people. 
And so God was watching over them. And so that night, Haman and the king went in and they had supper with Esther. And the king was so happy. He had his favorite food. Maybe it was French fries and um, baked potatoes or something. I don't know what they had in Persia. They ate dates and figs and stuff, so maybe it was a fig cake or fried dates. I don't know what they had, and the Bible doesn't tell us, so it must not be very important if the Bible doesn't tell us. But, oh, Haman was so thrilled, and when the king asked her, the queen, what she wanted, um, she said, I'd like you to come back tomorrow night for another supper. Oh, and she said, then I'll tell you what it is I really want. So Captain Haman was so happy. He was so excited. He thought, what an honor, what a privilege, and I'm going to get rid of that nasty Mordecai on top of it. So the next night, after they had eaten, Esther said, I would like you to save me and save my people. And the king didn't know what it was because, you know, the king was married to this beautiful lady, but he didn't know that she was Jewish. And so what happened is she told him that Captain Haman was the one who had built the gallows for her cousin Mordecai and that she would die too because she was Jewish. And the king was astounded. So the king left for a few minutes. He said, I've got to think about this. He says, I didn't realize that this is what that law would do. I didn't understand it. But he knew then that he had been tricked by Captain Haman. And Haman was his right-hand man. And he um, trusted him. And so I'm sure the king was very disillusioned. The Bible doesn't tell us that. But when he, the king left, um, Captain Haman went over to the queen and he bowed down and he begged her for his life. He knew that he was in deep trouble and he begged her and he was holding on to the bottom of her robe and the king kept back in and he said, oh, what are you doing to my wife? Are you trying to hurt my wife? Then he was really mad. So what he did was pass another law and this law said that the Jewish people could take up arms or that means weapons and that they could fight off the people that were coming to kill them. And of course, God was with the Jewish people, and of course, he helped them be successful. Now, Captain Haman, and sometimes in the Bible times, when you did bad things, your wives and your children suffered too, and so they were killed. And um, every year, the people remember Esther and her bravery. And they have, the Jewish people have special ceremonies and a special remembrance for these people. And now I'm going to take the costumes off and very quietly tiptoe back to your seats. You have been such a good audience and I loved my hammy actors. You guys, oh, is that pulling your hair? I'm sorry. Here I am abusing this child. Thank you so much, Miss Judy and the kids. Are you guys happy today? Can we say thank you, Miss Judy, for the nice story? For the nice story, yes. Okay, now I need my helpers here. Are they right? Jason, Valerie, and I think that, oh, Valerie's not here. Mabel. Okay. What is the color of Ma Valerie? Yellow, okay. The yellows will come, will follow me. Oh, Melanie, Tita Melanie. All right, Jason, your color green, all the green will line up and we'll follow Jason. We're going to the craft area to the dining hall. Now, orange will be Rai Rai, all the orange, and pink will be Mabel. And the yellow will be Melanie. Yellow. All the yellows. Red, you are the yellow, Elijah and Evan. All right, let's go to the dining. 